If you can just imagine all of the painful bureaucracy that you have to deal with, that we all deal with on our daily basis, uh, government, finance, all the banking, all the legal BS. If you could imagine that just going away, man, that would be the dream and hopeful goal, aspiration of Ethereum and really why I'm buying that cryptocurrency in particular. Welcome. In this video, I want to go over why I'm buying Ether and why I'm so excited about it. This is a research paper by ARK Invest. They're a research team out of New York led by Kathy Wood. And they're huge bulls on Tesla and innovation. So this paper written back in 2019 called Disruptive Innovation Why Now by Brett Winton. It goes through the five major technologies that they see disrupting basically everything or all business and the financial landscape moving forward. So we believe that historians will look back in this era as one of unprecedented technological foment. So the researchers will identify in blockchain and cryptocurrencies the roots of the structures that would grow to upturn the entire business and financial landscape. So that's, that's quite a bit. They will identify five transformative innovation platforms, artificial intelligence, DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, and blockchain technology. And they will say from that point, everything changed. So there's the five technologies right there. So moving down, this is this table's historical general purpose technologies. So this is technologies that affected everything, general purpose. So historical economists agree that the steam engine was the highest in 1780, followed by electricity, well, also 10. So those two technologies really innovated everything. As far as the other things, not so much. Even the internet was only a six, right? We'll see later, blockchain, they have higher than the internet as a seven. Uh, going to the next chart but right here even the airplane is only one so it barely affected technologies this is based on historical economists so further through the paper we'll go back to that bubble chart but right here is what arc or brett particular defines as the critical technologies for right now so here it is Blockchain estimated general purpose technology consensus level. So it's level seven. So higher than the internet and the market opportunity is mega. So the only other the only other thing on this list, neural networks is also mega at a six and adaptive robotics. Also they see as market opportunity mega. So blockchain, adaptive robotics, and neural networks. That's what ARK Invest, at least Brett Winton, says will be the mega opportunities for the future. This is ARC's cluster of major innovation platforms. I completely agree with it. You know, reusable rockets is on this, this list. I haven't seen that a lot of other places. I think that's gonna totally open up space, be a railroad to space as Elon Musk has talked about. Also on your DNA sequencing, I think that's gonna be huge. Huge player in the bio technology markets you just look at mrna sequencing these vaccines that just came out man that's huge that's genetic engineering essentially i think that's going to be a huge opportunity for everything artificial intelligence that's the one technology elon musk said it's going to impact the future the most and then finally a pretty big circle on here is your blockchain technologies and so those just have the chance to digitize finance and digitize bureaucracy is really the hope. So finally down here in the conclusion, blockchain technology, we believe all money and contracts are likely to migrate onto open source protocols that enable and verify digital scarcity and proof of ownership. All money and contracts. That's a lot, right? So money, I think, is Bitcoin. They're really focused on that, like a gold replacement, if you will. And then contracts is something like Ethereum. So the smart contracts can overlay over the blockchain. So there is a risk that you could do contracts over just Bitcoin. You know, Ethereum would go away. Uh, but in this case, I think right now, Ethereum seems like the best vehicle to do the smart contracts. 
Up next, Kathy Wood explains a bull case for Bitcoin going to $500,000. The reason 5% is important to me is I saw real estate um, entering pension funds uh, in the 70s, and they went to, started with 1%, migrated to 5%. We saw emerging markets, many uh, pension funds and institutional investors, um, moving into emerging markets as MSCI developed that classification and uh, moved from 1% to 5% and wherever they are now. Uh, and we think the same thing is going to happen with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And if it does, and if it's say just with Bitcoin, and we've got that 5% allocation, somewhere in the four to 6% range, um, that if, if that were to happen and all institutions were going to do it, of course, that's not going to happen, uh, but some might add more. Uh, so offsetting those who don't participate at all, uh, that would add somewhere uh, uh, between 400,000 and 500,000 to the Bitcoin price. We're at 20,000 right now. Now that is not gonna happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen for years, uh, but if we're on our way, it is going to be a very pleasant journey. If you can just imagine all of the painful bureaucracy that you have to deal with, that we all deal with on our daily basis, uh, government, finance, all the banking, all the legal BS. If you could imagine that just going away, man, that would be the dream and hopeful goal, aspiration of Ethereum and really why I'm buying that cryptocurrency in particular. But this is speculation for sure. This has not been fully accepted. Although all the, the big pensions are getting on board, there's still a lot that needs to happen. But there are huge gains to be made. As she said, Kathy said, four to $500,000 for Bitcoin. That is a lot. Ethereum as well, greater than tenfold. You could put in 10 grand and make over $100,000, maybe even more. So the gains are there. The possibility is there but it could easily go to zero at some point in the future. So that's why definitely no more than 5%. Greed is a huge problem. It's a huge issue. And you, it's, it's easy to just put too much money in and lose all of your money. So keep your speculation, or at least me, I keep my speculation to less than 5% of my net worth. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. We just got out of a little session here, here with my bro, Yvonne. What's up? Fourth carrier, baby. <laughs> Just super excited about cryptocurrencies. We live in such an amazing time with amazing technologies coming on board. Good luck to you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps out the channel. Peace. Take care.